Hey guys, we uh, been pretty dang busy here at uh, Wilson Art Tech for more certain power sports uh, classes and have been online for a while. So we're kind of in between a bunch of different projects here in our American B Twin uh, class and we are doing some cool stuff. Grant, what are you doing? I'm cutting the 883 head so we can make a cut out for an engine. Stay tuned for that. It's like watching paint dry. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna really take our time with this. Oh, we're in perfectly good place. See what some of the other guys are doing here. Got a twin cam in for quite a bit of service. 40,000 miles, gonna replace the uh, primary shoe upgrade to an automatic style. Obviously fluids, batteries. And then these are pretty known for needing to go in and uh, replace the tensioners under here. So we're going to put new bearings in it and freshen it up. Then we've got, Seth, what are you working on? A lab. Yeah? Yeah. Your American V-Twin lab, which one are you doing? Uh, the cylinder piston head re reinstallation. This is your engine over here, isn't it? Yeah. Take a look at Seth's work over here. Pretty nice and organized. They're all laid out. So on these sporties, we really spent a lot of time on precision measurement. Cylinder bore, bore gauges, valves, guides, cam bushings, oil pumps, you name it. And I'm doing a uh, update on all the old Evo videos. So doing a uh, Evo, uh, just a complete series on doing the Evolution engine again. Did the twin cam one last year, it worked out pretty well. So you can see here, yesterday we were doing a lot of press usage, pressing the uh, crankshaft out of the crankcases, cleaning up all the specialty tools required. It's one of the things that students really love here at WIT is being able to train and see the video camera shot up on those uh, big screen TVs. Doing some cylinder head disassembly here. Let's see what the rest of the class is doing here. A little bit of Facebook Live, checking out your guys' work. What are you guys working on? We're looking up the torque specs for an evil engine crankcase. Yeah? Yes, indeed. Cool. This is your engine here, Penny? That's my engine. All right, boy, we've really been uh, fighting this, this one, huh? Yeah. So this is pretty cool, though, for us. But uh, this one had an oil problem. They actually took the bushings out and stuck to the camshafts yesterday. We actually pressed those off. And then... Uh, this one had a broken uh, oil pump drive gear. So I just showed them on a different motor how to press off the uh, pinion gear there. Worked out pretty well, but check this out how bad this one is here. She broke. We'll make it a good motor to turn over. So you guys have to be able to know how to use heat to your advantage. Know how to use, uh, especially pullers and tools. Even how to use heat to get you know, dowel pins out of cylinders. That engine that Grant was cutting apart over there, that was this one here. It's pretty cool. We're taking a 1200 and building half of it with an 883 and then doing that cutaway on both. So you'll be able to see the difference between the 883 and 1200. Check out these pistons. Here's your uh, little guy 883. And here's a 1200. And at all fairness, this is the older Evo 883 top end we're putting here. And this is the rubber mounted uh, 1200 here. Same thing. Got some other guys working safe over here, always wearing their safety glasses. What's that smirk for? <laughs> you guys always do, right? Every day. What are we working on? Getting the keyway out. Yeah. The old one was okay on that for us, wasn't it? Did we decided. We got a new one. Well, let's save that for those broken ones. Okay. Do we know what that is? Also, what it? Yeah, we found. Yeah, on yours, once we go to put yours back together, Ben here, he had a really broken one. So we had another uh, oil pump that was sheared here, and this is going to replace the one actually in the oil pump. You actually had broke teeth on this gear too. You haven't seen that yet. We have it off somewhere. Find your oil pump. Let, let's see that. Let's take a look at the, the one that drives that. Actually, this is from above. That sits like this. You can see there. She broke. Broke. Oh, good. Yeah, so that's what we got that one for. So this one's going like this. Let's look at yours, Chris. What's that? Yeah, I got the new one. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Sweet. Lots of assembly lube going back together. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. All right. How's yours going? Good. Really good. So last couple days you were working on cylinder to piston clearance, yep. bore gauges, uh, ring gaps, side clearance, you know, a lot of precision measurement. Working on your lab there, bud? Yep. How's it going? It's going all right. Yeah, you got your head apart. I don't think yep. I uh, have one of these. Got one of your valves out. Yep. So we're going to be getting into seats and how to lap valves and cut seats here next, aren't we? Awesome. What are you doing? Buying an R1? Trying to. <laughs> You're all ready to go. This is uh, Zach's motor here. Really nice students are protecting their work even when it's tore down like this so parts aren't uh, you know, being flung in there even off another motor or whatnot. So Nice organization. Look at these benches here. Even uh, labeling individual lifters to the cam so nothing gets mixed back up. I mean, great, great job. It's coming. Well, whatever you all out there are wrenching on, it's one of the big TVs I was talking about, I hope you uh, guys are making a great day and gals, and uh, stay tuned, keep wrenching. Keep wrenching. All right, man, make it a great day.